Hi, Samuel Prather here, founder of Groove Orchestra and Go Music. I wanted to take a couple minutes today to explain to you how to construct a diminished triad on the piano. Now, a diminished triad is on the transient side of our graph here, right? So we had major and minor, which are more stable uh, and you know dark and bright, but still stable chords. On the bottom, we have our more transient moving chords, right? Uh, or unstable, however you wanna call them. Okay, so diminished is the darker of the two on the bottom. And we use that for an ominous sound. You hear this a lot in horror movies and things when they're trying to scare you, right? Make you uncomfortable. And by the way, if you haven't checked out my other videos on the four major types of chords in music uh, and how to construct them, and then also our video on major and minor, you should check those out as well. All right, so if I start uh, with C being zero and go up to the right, one, two, three, I'm gonna end up with E flat. And then if I go up three more from there, one, two, three, I'm gonna end up with G flat. Those three notes together make up a diminished chord. All right, it's that simple. I'm not using scales um, to define the chord today because I want this to work in all the keys without you having to know uh, all the key signatures. It is really that simple. Music theory does not have to be complicated. If you like the way that I'm explaining these things, please like, subscribe, uh, and sign up for notifications so you can know when I'm coming out with new content. Also, if you like jazz, blues, funk, soul, R&B, uh, et cetera, and you don't believe that there needs to be boundaries between them, then check out my band Groove Orchestra. Uh, I would appreciate it and so would my family, and you can do that at www.samuelprather.com.